Hello everybody and today we're going to take the boring stock Planet Zoo entrance and turn it into something a lot better. So like and subscribe and let's get started. So here we are. We are going to delete this rubbish old stock Planet Zoo building that comes with every freaking zoo ever. Um, of course we're gonna save all of the expensive stuff if you're playing in franchise mode. It makes it a lot easier and a lot less expensive. So that's the guest spawners and the zoo entrances. So once we have that all sorted out we are going to start on our entrance. And we're just gonna move these out of the way for now. Alright, so this entrance was actually inspired by an AI image that I created. Just to get some inspiration, I believe I used uh, Photoshop and just typed in minimalist zoo entrance or something like that. Uh, I would highly recommend using that technique if you are out of ideas and want something to kind of give yourself a little challenge. Uh, so there you can see I am making the profile view of our circle and then we're just going to duplicate it all the way around and then bury half of it into the ground. And now we're going to work on the windows. Something I've started doing in my zoos is making the walls uh, doubly thick, if that makes sense. Uh, so you can see I have the interior wall and then the exterior wall and that makes hiding object overlap a lot easier uh, when you're trying to just kind of like mess around with stuff. It makes it very, very easy. And so here I am trying to figure out how I'm going to work with this slanted window. So I use these uh, metal beams. And then the brand new door from the Eurasian Animal Pack. And now I'm going to speed even faster through this part because I don't actually end up sticking with this design. You can see in this image that there are, is like a black uh, kind of striped pattern on the window. Uh, so I tried to replicate that but then I found a better way to do that later on. Here we're just going to make the two little kind of bumps out to the side that are in there, our image and just kind of figure out what their purpose would be for. So this area over uh, to the right that I'm working on now is going to be kind of a uh, education stage for our presenters in our zoo. And on the left is going to be where the bathroom goes for the, our information center. And if you've made it this far in the video, I'd just like to say thank you for your support, and if you're subscribed, thank you for doing that. If you're not subscribed, uh, thank you for watching, hopefully you're liking, and maybe even subscribing. So 
So now we're just kind of filling in this area and making sure that we have a nice white, uh, clean looking building. And then of course, to save yourself some time, uh, delete the pieces because then you won't have a stuttery zoo or anything. So any pieces you don't need, make sure you delete them. And now I'm sure there's a better way to do this background for our stage, but uh, I didn't spend too much time on it. And then another thing I would suggest is making the doors uh, kind of like a double door situation. That way the guests don't clip through the walls. And now we're just going to enclose our uh, education center seating. with a custom desk uh, made out of the same material that we made the building out of just for a cohesive look and I'll have to go in and change this I accidentally use the habitat uh, screens so they don't work to display anything of importance for our information center uh, but we'll get to work on our bathroom now So I'm going to have to move that out just a little bit um, to make sure nothing's clipping out of the back. that this bathroom fits seamlessly into the wall and there's no awkward edges or anything like that. fit in better we're just gonna add just a slight angle to the this block and just kind of blend it in a little better and 
And now we're gonna take the front of that and duplicate it to the back. And there we have pretty much our finished building. Now we're just going to do just a little cleanup, add an edge to the stage, and here's where I'm going to delete all of these things that I worked so hard to put down and use the conversa conversation com conservation wood pieces. Wood slats, I think. And I'm doing that mainly to save on piece count because uh, I don't want this zoo to be too laggy. So by doing this, that'll be one piece, and yes, always good to save on piece count. And also we're going to cover more of the window this way too. And there we have that. So now we're just going to duplicate that over to the back. Do the same thing, just fill everything in. All right, so here is the building all complete. Uh, the stage turned out great. The entrance and the exit on the front and the back look amazing. The bathroom blends in well. Now it's time to get planting. So here's our image for reference again. We are using a lot of reeds and bushy bushes uh, to kind of fill in the space create a very eco-friendly looking do entrance. I'm using all grassland pieces. I feel like that's one of the easiest ways to make everything look like it fits together is to use the same biome. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you use the continent. Um, most of the biomes are fit together pretty well. so. Yeah, we're just going to make this look very overgrown, uh, using lots and lots of foliage pieces. Now we're going to do the other side. And I wanted to bring the saturation down, so I'm using these ghost, uh, ghost trees. I can't remember ghost gum trees, uh, just to kind of dilute the colors a little bit, if that makes sense. And a helpful tip for planting up your zoos is to start big and fade out into small. So you can see I have I'm working layers. I start with the trees, go to a medium large size bush smaller size bush and then end in grass usually uh, just it makes it gives it layers and makes it a little easier to deal with now we're just adding the background and there we have it that's the final look at our zoo
If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Follow me on all the social media that's linked down in the description. And don't forget to be your best self in 2024. Have a great day, and I will see you later.